In this video, we are going to discuss scanline jet buffer algorithm. So, how this scanline jet buffer algorithm will be working, we shall also explain that one using one example. So, this algorithm is an extension of the method of scan converting a solid polygon and can be treated as a special case of jet buffer algorithm. In the earlier video, we have discussed the jet buffer algorithm. So, you can watch that one for the better understanding of this one. The working principle of the algorithm can be summarized through these following steps. So, here we are having two steps and the respective sub steps are there. For each scan line, where we are making this y is equal to constant, that means here we will be considering the horizontal scan lines of the pixel grid. Set the frame buffer to the background intensity. Set the jet buffer to z min. For each polygon in the scene, in the arbitrary order, find the intersection if any of the polygons to the projection with the scan line. So, now here we are observing the intersection of the polygons with the scan line. For each pixel in left to right order on the scan line between the intersection pairs, compare its depth that is the z value to the depth recorded in the z buffer at that very location. If the pixel depth is greater than that of the z buffer, then this line segment from the left intersection to the current pixel is currently visible line segment. Hence, the polygon attribute for this line segment is written onto the frame buffer and the z buffer is updated. So, this is the respective algorithm and in this particular algorithm always we are checking where we are having one scan line and scan line means which is having a constant y and when this scan line will be traversed from left to right then in that case we shall check that which polygon it is intersecting and the depending upon the value of the of the respective z of that of the polygon we are supposed to update the respective position in the z buffer. Now, it, let me explain this particular algorithm with one proper example. So, here we are having three polygons. So, at the top we are having this polygon 3, then we are having polygon 2 and then we have numbered this polygon number 1. And here we are having one scan line with y is equal to 8 and that is a constant one. So, that is why you are getting a horizontal line here. So, now if we move to, through, through this scan line, then at first we are getting this this particular we are getting this background color here or the background value that is a z min rather I should say and then we are traversing through this polygon number 1 you can easily see then I shall be traversing with through this polygon number 3 then 2 then 1 then with the minimum z. So, this these are the minimum z. So, this is my the respective polygon number 1 then 3 then 2 then 1 and then back to the minimum z here. So, now this is a scan line frame buffer. So, here we are updating this polygon numbers with the respective z values and in this way the buffer is getting updated. So, in this video we have discussed what is scan line z buffer algorithm with one proper example. Thanks for watching this video.